Hi Leo, this is my channel Tarot Stories. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for all the signs all the time. So please subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Leo people that what will happen from 1st of May till 15th of May 2023. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall. And after that in the same video I'm going to pull some love messages for you from Wisdom of the Oracle. So watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. And personal readings are on now uh, but personal readings for now are only available for people living in United States, UK and Canada. So if you are located in these uh, locations, uh, you can um, book your personal reading through Skype or you can buy your personal reading through Skype. The Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. Let's start with Tarot. Okay. Messages for Leo. 1st to 15th of May. Messages for Leo, 1st to 15th May. Messages for Leo, 1st to 15th of May. Messages for Leo, 1st to 15th of May. Messages for Leo, 1st to 15th of May. Okay. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Okay, Leo, right now you're very disappointed. Uh, for some of you, maybe it's a problem. It's not for everybody. It's a specific message what I see here. Uh, I see a problem in a marriage for some of you, a marriage or a committed relationship because we have five of cups in the middle and then above that we have ten of cups and underneath we have four of wands. Look at this. So it's a disappointment around a relationship for lots of you. So for some of you, it can be a marriage which is not going well and you're disappointed and you feel that things are not working out. Of course, you want to be happy and um, you want to be stable, but right now you're really disappointed uh, and uh, you feel that, okay, this is not working out. Uh, so for some of you, it can be about your marriage. For some of you, it can be about a committed relationship. For some of you, it can also, uh, also be about a house, like uh, some problem with the house you live in or something like that. But overall, it's a, it's a disappointing energy. I think things were going fine before Six of Wands. I think you were successful and all that. Uh, but again, uh, I feel that there is some ego issue also. Uh, if it's about a relationship or if it's about a marriage, uh, then there is uh, some ego issue also, some pride, ego, stubbornness, things like that. It's, it's tricky. Uh, for some of you, Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, maybe uh, the communication is blocked between you and this person. Uh, so you definitely are wanting a new uh, start, but it's not coming at this point in time. Something like that. So uh, I know it's not going to resonate with everybody, but it's not in my hands. I just read the cards, whatever the cards are telling me. Uh, so the cards are being very specific about some specific situation that some relationship is not working out. And for some of you, it's like communication is cut. And for some of you, there is a marriage which is not working out. They're just telling me that. Uh, it's not in my hands. So 
if it's not resonating with you you can click off the video of course do not force it to resonate with you these are general readings you have to keep that in mind okay now moving forward uh okay okay high priestess ten of souls uh so uh, in the beginning of the may i think this energy will carry on like you'll be a little bit uh like um indecisive not sure what's going on and uh, things will be hidden from you and you'll be like okay what's going on in this situation and all that uh but after that we have knight of swords so there is gonna be some communication in the first half of uh, May. So now what kind of communication? Because Knight of Swords is a tricky energy. Yeah, there is gonna be communication. Yeah, things will be uh, moving forward. But sometimes it's positive and sometimes it's not. So of course it's gonna be different for different people. These are general readings, but I'll still clarify this Knight of Swords and see what kind of communication is going to happen. There is going to be, if you are looking for communication, then there is going to be communication in the first half. For sure, that's very clear here. Uh, let's see. Clarifying Knight of Swords. Clarifying Knight of Swords. Clarifying Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah, look at this, Page of Pentacles. So that looks positive. That's look positive, Leo. So I'm happy that uh, the communication, because Knight of Swords sometimes brings out fights or conflicts also, but it's not like that in this case. Uh, in your case, the communication will come, uh, the communication will be initiated, communication will start and that will be positive. So if it's about a relationship, if it's about a marriage, then I think it will be fixed in the first, it will start fixing in the first half of May. And there will be communication, there will be positive communication and we have lovers in the background. Look at this. So another positive energy. So if it's about love, it's a, it's a, if it's about your marriage, then don't worry, you, you, that's gonna be fine whatever is happening it's just temporary and uh, it will be healed and it will start healing and start working out in the first part of may in the first half of may so for a few of you if it's not about a relationship or a marriage and it's something else like work or job even then it's going to be because the energies moving forward are positive so it will be sorted out don't worry now let's pull some love messages for you from wisdom of the oracle love messages for leo the first to 15th of may love messages for leo first to 15th of may love messages for leo first to 15th of may. Look at this loyal heart, beautiful energy. So look at this. This is such a beautiful card, such a romantic card. So if you are having some troubles in your love life or in your married life, that's going to be definitely sorting out. And uh, you are going to be really happy about your love life and there will be love uh, reviving again in your relationship, uh, in your uh, marriage or whatever you are dealing with. Uh, so it's a very positive energy, Leo. And uh, Loyal Heart is a beautiful card. It's actually, for romance, it's the best card in the deck. It's like two of cups in the tarot. So that means that to you and your lover or your spouse or whoever you're dealing with, uh, you and this person will be on the same page. Uh, you will be on the same wavelength, same page, and you will be having a great time enjoying 
working out things and uh, uh, everything will be sorted out. And in the background, we have community. Also a very positive card. So maybe for some of you, maybe somebody, some friends can help you with that. Or maybe you will be fixing your relationship uh, and then you will be enjoying and socializing and uh, in groups also going places, watching movies and things like that. Uh, so overall, I think Leo, if you are not happy right now and if there are some problems going on, especially in your love life, do not worry at all because in the first half of May, things are start uh, uh, are going to start getting better and uh, definitely things will get a lot better and they will be fixed eventually. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.